Hi, and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Today I am going to show you how to do importing and exporting of your LumaFusion projects. And I'm also going to provide you with a template pack with three items. Video that I created on folding text. The video is here. You're going to have the template with the entire lesson in it. The template lesson that you're going to have is the news ticker. And I did a video on it. Download that, import it into your LumaFusion using the tips I'm going to show you. And you will be able to create those with, well, without watching the videos, but I hope you watch the videos. So I also have one other thing. I created a background using a video and some effects in LumaFusion. So I'm including that background as well. I hope you'll watch my next video, which will be how you can create your own backgrounds. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so now we're in LumaFusion and we have this entire project that we want to archive. We don't want to lose any of the tracks on the timeline. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to go to the door at the top and hit Project Archive. Now what that's going to do is save all of the tracks, not just the movie onto one track. So I'm going to save this to my Google Drive. And you get some choices here. First one is to include the full original media larger file, or you can trim the media into a smaller file. That's not my point. I want the full original media. And then they'll tell me my file size. So I hit the door next to share the, with these settings. And I click this. And I'm going to save this as LumaFusion text and backgrounds free. And I have a breadcrumb of where on my Google Drive I want to save it. So it's going to go in my Google Drive. Here's all of my folders. I have a folder called LM Projects. And there's my folder in the breadcrumb. And all I have to do is now hit the door again and it will save this project. Once it's done saving, I can now bring the entire project back. So, okay, it's going to save your project as a spry zip file and it's going to be uploaded to Google Drive. This is the kind of file that is read by LumaFusion. So I'm going to say okay to this. I'm going to go to back to my project manager by clicking the little plus with a box in the front on the top. And here's my project that I've just been working on right here with all that text work. And I'm going to click on it and I'm going to delete it. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, so it's gone. So what I'm going to do now to get it back is I'm going to come down next to the plus is another door, but it's down on the bottom of the project management. And this is where we are going to import projects. So it's telling me these are the sources you have to import from. I'm going to click on Sources, go to Google Drive. I'm going to go to IM Projects where I saved it. And there it is, LumaFusion Text and Backgrounds Free. I click it. It downloads the archive and brings it right into my project management. And there it is. I'll click on it with all three timeline tracks filled with everything I created with perfect timing. And that's how you import and export a project in LumaFusion to keep everything together. I hope that helps and I hope you like the free templates that I provided today. Okay, now to get your template if you're on an iPad and not on a PC, sometimes it seems a little more difficult, but make sure you have Google Drive installed on your iPad. I'm going to click on this and it's going to open up drive.google.com. It's showing the three shared folders. I'm going to click on folding text. It opens it up here. I click on the actual archive and then I click on the little down arrow in the upper right. And you'll see it goes really fast. Doesn't look like it does anything. I'm going to say done. I'm going to go back to my Google Drive and I'm just going to tell it to sort by share date. And I have to wait a second. And there it is. That's all there is to it. 
you can do it for all three and you'll have my templates. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video and leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.